Greetings, I'm at chess.com, uh, getting close to Halloween, battling the zombie bots. This zombie bot is rated 1000, so in this video, it's going to be sticking to the fundamentals. So if you're fairly new to chess and you're wanting to know some good fundamentals, and uh, this will be the video for you. I played the black pieces, and so let's get to it. Okay, so... Um, Playing the queen's gambit um, and accepted, so I did take the piece. All right, so in the beginning, just remember, you want to control the center and then develop your minor pieces, which is your bishops and your knights and your uh, rooks and your queen are your major pieces. So just remember to control the center and get your pieces developed. Okay, so here I'm attacking the bishop, and we're going to just try to stick to good fundamentals. Uh, one thing that I always watch uh, when you see this kind of bishop come out here is this F file. It's easily attacked in the beginning, and so that's something to watch out for. And in the beginning, I like to just do good fundamentals and stick to the basics and um, now here the computer says that I did an inaccuracy but um, okay the computer knows better than I do but I'll show you what I was going for it was this double stacked pawn I like messing up my opponent's pawn structure um, so that's what I was going for there uh, okay so there's a check uh, it didn't really go anywhere I was expecting this night if you're in this this position now my opponent has lost the right to castle because they moved the king so uh, I was expecting this knight to defend the position but uh, okay um, you know it rated a thousand I do you know it, that's respectable enough that there's gonna be some trickery afoot and so one has to um, stay guard and so this is about just keeping to the basics and so uh, and here the computer says this wasn't uh, best move but again I'm wanting to you know if if it's take take then I've messed up my opponent's uh, pawn structure because um, I think the reason why it's an accuracy is because when you move a piece to the edge of the board uh, especially this knight like this it um, it controls a lot less squares um, than where it was uh, you want them in the center of the board but um, the sake of what I'm doing here okay so and then now it says that was a, a great move but um, my opponent you know this is early in the game and my opponent um, we're still in the opening because I haven't developed all my pieces and now there's my opponent but my opponent has two double stacked pawns and this is isolated so I'm loving this right now so okay bring my knight back to safety and um, hoping to do an exchange here. Um, yeah, so that was just a blunder on the zombie part. Um, but that's okay. They are a zombie, so we'll cut them a little slack. And um, but again, if you play if you play good clean chess, the engine will react accordingly and make mistakes like a human would and stuff like that. Though I don't know that. I've seen a human make that much of a mistake, but that's okay. I think it's just a reaction to playing good, clean chess. Um, so again, um, I really need to, you know, I've done a lot of back and forth here, but I need to get this bishop out. This knight, here's one thing I want to bring up. This knight out here, one piece by itself can't do a whole lot. It needs an interaction of another piece. Um, to really be effective and so I need to at this point get some things going here with my other pieces uh, okay now here I want to talk about this for just a second the reason why I did not take let's go back a step um, is because I own this D file okay it's semi open meaning that there's only one pawn on it mine so and I have a major piece under a pawn 
you usually want to go ahead and push that pawn. That's usually the big idea is um, get a major piece under a pawn and then push that pawn up. And so that's why I did not just take right here because if I take, then I'm just under attack with the knight and you know. So uh, keep those things in mind. And then here is an open file because there's no pawns on it and I own that with my rook. So it's these little things that's good clean chess and uh, leads to a victory here, which is what this video is all about here. Okay, so um, like I said, I own that file. And now I own, this knight owns these squares. And like I said, I own this file. And that's the key is to these little things to take advantage of. There's check has to be dealt with. And there's mate because this knight cannot move because of the simple fact that I own this file. So the biggest takeaway from this is, uh, again, just get your pieces out there, control the center. And when you see an opportunity to own an open file or a semi-open file, take it. Um, good clean chest, get a major piece underneath the pawn, promote the pawn like I did there. Those are the big takeaways. Mess up your opponent's pawn structure if you can. You know, if you can do an exchange and you say, well, it's evened up, but if your pawn, if your opponent's pawn structure ends up like this, the advantage is really to you, all things being equal. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.